you're looking for ways to take your mind off of this worldwide pandemic. All the deaths and job losses and horrible things that are going on right now are definitely off-putting. Today I thought we would check out a horror movie from back in the day called Afraid of the Dark. Um, you know, I haven't seen this movie in many, many years, but I remember it being immensely creepy. And, you know, I'm looking to refresh my memory on it. So why don't you guys check out the trailer and when we get back, you're going to know my opinion on Afraid of the Dark. In the realm of shadows. He's going blind, Dad. He's losing his sight. In the dwelling place of dreams. Your mom tells me you're not Spider-Man anymore. What is it, my love? Are you feeling all right? What is real? Is there anything legal? It's a telescope. Oh, it's a funny place to carry a telescope. You would hurt yourself with that sharp point. What is imaginary? Spider-Man never wins. The bad man comes back. What is there to fear? For Lucas Burns, the answer lies in his eyes. From director Mark Peplow, Academy Award-winning screenwriter of The Last Emperor, comes a frightening and fascinating tale of dreams and delusions. But the bad man's difference in each story, isn't it? Not really. Just looks different. Afraid of the Dark. So this is a dark and sinister movie. I was reminded of the cinematic works of William Peter Blatty. He also did a movie called The Guardian in the early 1990s and the prolific Exorcist 3, uh, which have a very distinct dark early 90s style about them. This film, once again, is an early 90s movie, but I feel like it embodies the late 1980s dark cinematic vibe and a lot of those early 90s films uh, still kind of reveled in this down and dirty grimy sense of filmmaking so the overall movie definitely has a european jaleo vibe about it especially the first half of the film which i thought was actually very engaging this is a very grim film with many scenes that are very hard to watch, kind of bloody, um, very cringy and creepy. The overall film is about a young boy who suspects that there is a serial killer in his neighborhood that is cutting the faces of blind women. Now that premise alone um, kind of sends shivers up your spine, especially if you think of it from a kind of in the shadows, dark voyeuristic vibe. And speaking of voyeurism, a lot of the characters in this movie are just downright creepy. It really sets the mood, sets the atmosphere, and the music definitely punctuates this overall sense of dread. That being said, guys, this movie isn't perfect. There's a number of plot elements and narrative executions that just kind of came across as confusing to me. About halfway through the film, uh, the overall story takes a dramatic shift. Everything is kind of turned on its head, and I found myself being immensely confused. I had to go online and look up an overall plot synopsis to, you know, understand what was happening on screen. I feel like this is a very successful horror movie, and, you know, sure, it's got some shortcomings, but the overall mood and acting and, you know, production overall really sells it. And I feel like this is a perfect addition to anyone's old school horror movie collection. Definitely check this one out. There's a lot of bloody moments, a lot of tension, a lot of mood, atmosphere, creepy characters. It's perfect for those dark and stormy nights. So if I was to give this a star count out of 10, I think I could award Afraid of the Dark a solid seven, seven and a half out of 10.